Okay, you guys, so this is the second video today, but I had to get this done today, which is why I'm releasing it today. I know some of you get triggered if I upload two videos a day, but trust me, we're not running out of ideas anytime soon. So today I will be showing you how to install Android 10 or any custom ROM, therefore, because this process is the same for pretty much every phone on an unsupported device. So uh, for me, that's going to be my Xiaomi Mi 8, which has been my main phone for quite some time now. And we are going to be putting the new version of Havoc OS that just came out on it. Oops. If you have a Xiaomi phone, you will have to unlock the bootloader first. Uh, I believe I had a video on that earlier, so if you guys need that, you can search that up. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be doing that today because my bootloader is already unlocked. So you guys are absolutely insane. The channel is growing so fast. The number of people watching these videos now subscribed is all the way up to 12.3%. So if you guys like the video and you're part of that 87.7% of people that aren't yet subscribed, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. If that floats your boat, make sure to subscribe and let's move on to the video. Okay, so the first thing you will need installed on your computer is a ADB, and I will have that down in the description below. All you do is you just install that like a normal application, and then you can move on to actually using it. Once you've installed ADB, all you want to do is you press Windows and R and type CMD, and then you can type ADB to make sure it works. If this happens, that means your ADB is working. Now, goodbye Havoc OS. So what you want to do is you want to put your phone into fast boot mode. Now, for me, that's going to be power button and volume down. For you, it might be something else. You need to search this up for your phone. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click reboot. And while it's rebooting, I'm going to hold the volume down button. As you can see, it says fast boot right there. So now I'm going to plug it in to my computer. And now I can type fast boot devices to make sure that the computer recognizes the phone. The drivers aren't yet installed. The drivers are installing in the background. There we go. Okay, so now that the drivers are installed, the device is showing up because the first thing you will need to do is you will need to flash a custom recovery. So you need to find that for your device on XDA forums. The one I will be flashing today is Orange Fox right here. So I will actually have these down in the description below in case you are doing this on your Xiaomi Mi 8 with me. So for this, I have extracted my recovery image here. And what you want to do is you want to type fastboot flash recovery and drag the recovery dot image into your command prompt right there. It's going to say writing recovery. And in the end, it's going to say finished. So then you can type fast boot, reboot, press enter and hold the volume up button on your phone or whichever button you have to go into recovery mode. So I'm holding volume up right now and boom. As you can see, my phone has booted into recovery mode, which is basically the BIOS for your phone like uh, the BIOS you would have on your computer. So we just need to wait for that to turn on. Boom, it's on. So this is the part where I say goodbye to Havoc OS because what you want to do when you're in here is you want to click wipe. You want to wipe Davlicart, cache, system, data, not vendor, and you want to swipe to wipe. Thankfully, I have everything backed up, so I should be okay. Okay, now you want to click back. You want to click menu. You want to click manage partitions. You want to click data. You want to tick it. Click format data. Type yes and tick. And that's going to pretty much make sure that none of the old settings, etc., have been left on the phone because if they were, you'd have problems with your new ROM. So formatting data, perfect. Now you plug your phone into your computer again and you want to transfer the files that you will be flashing into your phone's internal storage, just like this. So that's my Havoc OS. Havoc OS comes with gaps, but if you're flashing a different ROM, you may need to flash gaps with it. Gaps are the Google apps, which means things like the Google Play Store and things like that, Google Play services. So if you don't flash that, a lot of your apps will not work properly or won't work at all. So make sure that your ROM either has that built in or that you're flashing it. I will leave a link to gaps down in the description below in case you need them. My one quite clearly says gaps at the end. So that means that there's gaps in it. Now, because your phone is now custom and isn't official, you will want Magisk to hide the fact that your bootloader is unlocked, etc., so that you can use apps like Google Pay or your banking apps. So I'm also throwing Magisk in there. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back into your phone, unlock, go into files, select Havoc OS or whatever system you'll be flashing, click add to queue and then add Magisk to the queue. Then you can swipe to install. 
And basically now we just wait for the new ROM to install on the phone. So as you can see here, it says patching system image unconditionally, which is always a good sign because that means everything is going according to plan. So once this is done, I will be right back to you guys. Now that that's installed, Magisk 20.4 installer will actually start flashing its partitions. So once this is done, as you can see here, it just completed. Now, once that's done, if your system doesn't have gaps, this is where you would flash the gaps right now. But if you're like me, you just click reboot system and you wait for the thing to boot up. And just like that, you should see your custom ROMs boot animation. For this one, it's clearly this. I've never seen this one before, but it does look pretty cool. So now we just wait till the startup screen appears. This is always my favorite part. This is how you know you were successful. As you can see right here, it's showing the hello screen for Android 10, which means we have successfully flashed Android 10 onto our phone. I'm going to select English United States because that's always the one that gets the newest stuff. Uh, I'm going to connect it to my network. It's going to check for updates, which it technically shouldn't find if you've downloaded the latest ROM. It's going to then ask you if you want to copy apps and data. I don't because I want to start fresh. I enjoy starting fresh. It's going to check info and then it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. This is the part that wouldn't happen if you didn't install gaps. Now again, this ROM came with gaps, so I didn't need to do that. So I will sign in right now. Which phone is it going to ask me to confirm on? iPhone 8 Plus. There we go. I got a notification. Yes. So then you just go through the setup as you would on a brand new phone and you get to feel special because you just got a brand new phone. <laughs> Google Play services, accept. This is where it's going to ask you to set up your fingerprint and your pin. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Then you can set up your Google Assistant, which I will set up because I use it quite a lot. I think it's very handy. Oh, this is cool. Make your lock screen smarter. Hell yeah. These are some pretty new cool features that I didn't even know existed. Well, I guess I'm gonna have fun. Now it's going to turn on gestures, I believe. Yep, gestures just got turned on. I can't live without gestures, so. And there you go. The assistance there, everything is brand new. Android 10, and I can show you guys that this is in fact Android 10. If I go right in here, go into Android version, boom. Android 10. There you go, guys. So it's now the evening I've managed to change because the weather was unbelievably hot and I was wearing a long sleeve t-shirt because I'm smart. And I've also managed to finish setting up my phone. So this phone is now fully set up. Not only that, but we actually managed to reach 7,000 subscribers. You guys are just absolutely unbelievable. But going back to this, I actually have found a few pretty damn cool features which I want to share with you in, guys, in case you guys are doing this on the Xiaomi Mi 8. First of all, Xenix, who is the developer of this ROM, I absolutely love you, Xenix. Thank you so much for keeping this thing active because Havoc OS is my preferred and favorite ROM and I cannot wait for the new Xenix OS that is coming out. He managed to get face unlock working on this phone. So I want to show that to you guys. Boom, look how fast that is. And I'm going to close my eyes and then I'm going to open them and you should see how fast it is. Boom. It's, it's pretty much instant. So you can like have your phone on a stand, double tap, and it'll unlock with your face. So he managed to get face unlock working, which is unbelievable. All my Magisk modules work. I haven't found a few of them yet. It's in, it seems a few of them have gone inactive, uh, which is kind of a pain, but I will find them. Viper 4FX, which is my favorite one. It's the, my most important one. It's for sound. It's my equalizer. That one works perfectly fine with this ROM. Um, I also have another one called full screen gestures, which hides the navigation bar down here and makes the gestures full screen. It also gets rid of that annoying bar underneath the keyboard when you're typing because that bar is a thing for some reason. I haven't set the phone fully up yet. As you can see, my wallpaper still isn't down it and I'm not sure whether I will, but the most important apps I do have on it like crypto.com and I have Google Pay working. Yes, Google Pay works with the latest Magisk. So if you guys are worried about rooting your phone and not having Google Pay working, it works. Google Pay works on the latest Magisk, zero issues. I didn't have to flash any weird modules or anything like that. Google Pay just works straight out of the box. The only thing I have to say about this ROM, if I were to say anything, is that ANX camera doesn't work out of the box. ANX camera being the official modded module for Magisk camera from Xiaomi. So 
that doesn't work straight out of the box. I read on the XDA forums that there is a way to fix it, so I will be trying to do that later. But for now, I've just been using the crappy old version of Google Camera that came with it. And I mean, it's been fine, but I will get ANX camera working just so I can get that sweet 48 megapixel selfie. You guys know I like those selfies. What's up? Hit me up. So you guys, as you can see, putting a custom ROM on your phone has many, many benefits. And if you can relock your bootloader, not many downsides anymore, because if you can relock your bootloader, you're not actually going to lose your warranty. Now, of course, if you were doing this on a Samsung device, you would blow the Nox fuse and then you have lost your warranty. So that's kind of why I don't go for Samsung devices anymore. It's not because they're bad, they are very good, but I cannot customize them to my liking, which I feel is a necessary thing for me when I'm buying an Android device. But as you can see, this is much easier than you probably thought it was. And there's very little risk that comes with it, especially if you have a Xiaomi device, because there's a lot of ways to unbrick a Xiaomi device, like EDL mode, for example, which is flawless. Like EDL mode is flawless. You can always go into EDL mode and always flash your device back, which is just great. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope it helped you guys out. I hope that you found what you wanted to see here. I hope I helped you flash your phone with the latest Android 10 or ROM of your choice. If you guys want to hear more about my Magisk modules, let me know down in the description below or ask me on the Discord server. Once again, while all this was happening, you guys managed to make the channel reach 7,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. You guys are unbelievable. If you're not part of the community yet and you're part of that 87.7% of people that aren't yet subscribed, make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my notification bell, become part of the 360p gang. I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. Make sure to join our Reddit as well, actually, because I want your memes on Reddit. There's some quality memes. I had a great laugh today. So you guys keep posting.